the G tube uh, cleaning. This has to happen once a day. First of all, always make sure that your hands are clean. Wash with hot water. Wash good. Shut the tap off with your arm. I just changed this towel so I know that it's clean, but if you want, you can get a brand new towel. Okay, so we have this small washcloth and I'm going to just wet one part of it with like it's not scalding water, but like on the fairly warm side, okay? And then, see part of it's still dry. So we're just going to wipe underneath, make sure, and we're looking at it at the same time to make sure that there's no redness. The site looks good, see? Don't pull the Mickey too hard, but you can gently move it and twist it around. So I did have some barrier cream on here yesterday because it looked a little red, so I'm just making sure I'm getting all of that off. And I don't think I need to put it on again. So now I really have to make sure that it's dry because you don't want it to be wet against his skin. So that's why you've left part of the cloth dry. Just gonna twist it gently, make sure the underside of the Mickey is all dry and the site underneath is dry. And that's it.